go. Hello, I'm Scott Wysick, and uh, Adam Nikolai and Paul Van Roy are in my group. We're going to do a little fluids experiment for uh, fluid mechanics about paper airplanes today. Over here, we have the beginning of our equation. We have our big airplane, the UW Badger Air, and our small airplane, Dirty Water Airlines. Um, we're going to use the uplift force equation to figure out which uh, plane should go further when we release them later on in the video. So we're going to use this equation, uplift force equals the lift coefficient times one half rho velocity squared times area. We calculated our velocity to be 9.144 meters per second. We did this by using a 12 meter or 12 foot length and seeing how long it took on an airplane to fly that distance and then we uh, converted that into meters per second. Our rho is going to be 1.29 times 10 to the negative third kilograms per meter cube. And then plugging in all those numbers we get an uplift coefficient of 1.645. We looked at our UW Badger airline and we first weighed this and we found our weight of our paper to be 0 0.088 newtons. And then we had to figure out the area that would be perpendicular to the path of flight. So we simplified it as two triangles and two squares, as you can see, pretty similar. And we calculated or measured the dimensions. From that, we were able to calculate the area, and we found that to be 0.82 meters squared. Then using this, we were able to calculate the lift force that Scott mentioned already. And then we simply subtracted the weight from the lift force and found that number to be negative point eight one, negative point zero eight one newtons. <laughs> Next, we looked at uh, Dirty Water Airlines. Um, we found that weight to be uh, point zero four four newtons. Uh, we then found the area, um, which is just a triangle, uh, with base two point two and height eleven point three inches. Using the area equation, we found the area to be. Uh, 0 0.016 meters squared, um, and then we used the, uh, the lift force equation and found the lift force to be 0 0.00142 newtons. Um, subtracting the weight from that, uh, we found uh, 0 0.043 newtons, and that's all. Now let's check out these paper airplanes in action. Interesting. Let's take a closer look at that. did we learn here? Uh, well, first and foremost, we learned that basically all the pre-calculations we did were completely wrong. Uh, we just assumed too many things. The first assumptions we made were that the velocity and the angle of release were the same for each test. Um, the most important assumption we made, uh, which was an incorrect assumption, um, was that the velocity is 9.144 meters per second, which, uh, which is actually an average velocity. The actual velocity changes um, throughout the throw. 
Now, in the case of uh, UW Badger Airlines, we uh, we assumed a constant area, and using that constant area, we calculated a lift force, and this lift force was much smaller than the uh, weight, the weight of the airplane. Uh, this would mean that the airplane should just drop and hit the ground, which we know is not the case. So obviously something's wrong here. In the case of uh, Dirty Water Airlines, um, again we assumed a constant area uh, for the lift force. Uh, we found a lift force again that was much smaller than the weight of the airplane, which again would mean that the airplane would just drop, which obviously is not the case. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at what actually happened during the flights. Notice at the very beginning um, here the, the airplane lifts up pretty quickly. That's because the initial velocity is much faster um, than the velocity later on. You're going to notice it starts, uh, the weight of the airplane starts to take over um, as the lift force decreases because the velocity is decreasing. Uh, the area is held constant throughout most of the flight. This time, uh, with the smaller, dirty water airplane, um, you'll notice the spike right away. That's because the velocity is great. There's a very large lift force there, and then it takes a nosedive. So the area gets much smaller that the, the uh, lift force is acting on. Thus, the lift force decreases, and the plane does not travel as far. Uh, originally, coming into this experiment, the three of us were trying to show that um, given all other things equal, same uh, velocity, same density of air, um, given all those things equal, the larger area wingspan, um, the, the Badger Airlines wingspan, uh, would result in, a, in more lift and thus it would travel further than dirty water airlines. Uh, what, what we discovered through this experiment was that paper airplanes are extremely complicated. There's, uh, there's a lot that goes into them. Um, you can't make so many assumptions about your experiment because uh, they're very variable throughout uh, the travel of the airplane. Um, so moral, moral of this experiment is don't ask questions. Um, just, just make airplanes have fun. Um, yeah, have a great day.